to the stream and yes good morning all how um, are you doing welcome to the stream earlier. and yes good morning all oh, how are you doing and yes i am slightly early um only 13 minutes early it makes a change um but yeah we're here we have bremen we're on the ps4 pro so I've god knows what's gonna happen um yeah <laughs> So we'll find out in a minute. Uh, good morning, Dave. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I'm just sorting out all the links and everything. And I shall be with us any second now, he says. Um, oh, I forgot where I am now. Uh... I should be on my Hentis Rail page, and I'm not. So, there you go. 272 services. And I'll give you a quick look at everything what I've got, loco-wise. There we go. That's what, I'm on the PS4 Pro, and I have everything. So, I have everything installed. So, um, yeah, I'm just sorting out the Facebook link. Hopefully that will sort itself out. And then I've just got to sort a couple of bits out for YouTube. Uh, that's done. Not now Facebook, go away. Just create the post and do what you need to do. Um, that can come off. Um, Transient World, live streams, done. Um, show more. Where are we? Uh, don't need to fill that out. Recording date day um trains in world three there's all bits on youtube that i'm gonna fill out so it just automatically finds it sort by newest okay we can save that i'll sort out all your hellos and queries and in a few seconds for 30 quid this route better be worth it <laughs> oh dear it's you know, I, I bought Brighton Main Line, Neverka Dresden, and Birmingham Cross City for about 50 odd quid yesterday. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Plus 30 quid for this one today. Yeah, it's a, spent a little bit on Trains in World this week. So, it better be freaking worth it. Right. Um, dashboard. And we are on the, as I said, we are on the PS4 Pro today um, because the reason being is that I cannot download anything else onto the PS4 version of Train Sim World 3 on the PS5 nothing at all to do with the PS5 apparently the PS4 has a download quantity DLC quantity limit you can only have they reckon 50 items of DLC I've now got 46 because I've not got all the American routes in. All I've got is all the all the German and all the UK routes. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a bugger. Right. Good morning, David. You're just uh, downloading Bremen, which is good. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Bradley. Guten Tag, Freden and colleagues. Laughs at the next box. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, dear. I can do. I can download all the routes. I can have everything on the Xbox with no problem. But it's just called having money, which I don't have at the moment. So um, yeah. So we're ready. So we're going to have a look. Just quickly go through it. So Bahnsteig of Bremen, Oldenburg. It's there. Birmingham Cross City. So I have all the German and all the UK routes. I do have one American route, which is Cajon Pass or Cajon Pass. Um. So we're going to be restricted by obviously uh, non-moving stock, which will not be on the route. I think. Um, 
so yeah uh, I've got to find out how big it how big it is in size so um, that's what she said um, so we have one training module in the thing we're gonna do some training modules and then we're gonna do the scenarios no we're gonna do look at the training modules sorry then we're gonna do one scenario and then we're gonna do some turn ta turntable timetable good e good morning Alex how you doing so um, yeah so at the moment timetables as you can see we have everything um br101 45 155 182 god bless joe with his 101 the 187 185 rail pool 185 mrce br204 br363 db bnrdzf463 the 185 the g6 and the br612 so yeah Liam, good morning, mate. How you doing? Hat track of Ryan Ruhr. Yes, I do. I think I do. Yes, there you go. Hat track of Ryan Ruhr. There. So, look, the BR110 subs in on that. How cool is that? But you don't, you don't have the... Um, what you call it? You don't have the um, uh, what's that thing called? Um, you don't have the wagons. So if we were to look at Sneffel Sneffel Fast Tracker Castle, he says when he clicks it, everything. Hi Tommy, how you doing, mate? Everything's slow because we're on the PS4 Pro. And the BR110 isn't on that one. So it doesn't... Oh, it doesn't jump in. Which it might be because... Um, it's not... It comes in as AI. So it might not show. Oh, that's interesting. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so let's get on. This music's doing my head in. Right, training. Come on, we all love a good route intro, don't we? We all like the up, down, left, right, heart, and inside out and roundabout and all that. That's a nice shot of the 146. Ah, right, okay. Well, the majority of routes, the 110 does turn up in it. So the Verka dressing will be good. But there's nothing stopping you from using the 110 and the um, the N wagons um, in the um, scenario creator. So yeah, I mean I, I did see a lot of people get upset saying that you know because the N wagons weren't included. Bunch Jerica Bremen Oldenburg route introduction. Don't worry, that's me, not some old slow German guy. Welcome to Oldenburg or Parnoff, located in Lower Saxony, Germany. Saxony. Oldenburg is located between the port city of Bremen to the east and Groningen in the Netherlands to the west. Interesting. Oldenburg or Parnoff originally opened in 1879, although this new Art Nouveau building was opened in 1915 after four years of construction. Oh. There's a missing route map over there. Let's fix it while you're here. I'm just having a look at the train. Oh, I know it's back that way. I want to have a look and see what this one is. You know me. Hot air balloons or balloons, that's like some... Obviously... It's going to be a little bit what you call it. Oh, put the frame rate up as well. It's going to be a little bit thingy. I'm recording this at 60 frames a second anyway. Ah, good to see the passengers don't work properly. To never, never land. 
the bloke talking is Mr. Matt. Where's this uh, map? Apparently it's over here. Oh, look. So they've done a new type map then for the routes, by the looks of it. There are lots more tasks to discover throughout this route. Make sure to apply all the route maps, restock first aid points, put up posters, and collect statues. Are they like golden statues, what they get at the Oscars? Because I'd like to do. I'd like to thank my mum, my dad, for because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. Not that sort of like statue. You still got an annoying person that goes. <whistles> nice. See, whether this is a PS4 thing, you'll have to let me know. Whoa. That guy's like levitating. Dude. Right, anyway, let's get on the train. Sit down in any available seat. So, I'm kind of hoping. I love the sound of the door. What the. What, That's pretty cool. Um, this train is a BBBR110, renamed from a Bore. Oh, you're being sarcastic, sorry. <laughs> oh. But then our play would have limits. <laughs> oh, we're dropping in frames already. was opened in 1867. The first station was a converted goods shed before being replaced by a neo-gothic style station in 1879, which itself was replaced in 1915. We're going to have a lot of limitations on this route, unfortunately, with the PS4. The seats are like the water ones. Runs for 44 kilometres through Lower Saxon and carries a variety of freight and passenger services. Hi, Declan, yeah. Oh, hello, I didn't do that. On this route, you'll learn how to operate this BR110, the BNR DZF 463 Envagen control car, the BR 425, and the BR 155. You know what? I'm not a real big fan of how this pans around so bloody quick. Take a trip to the late 2000s and experience frequent regional passenger and heavy freight services. Be in control of classic and modern traction as you traverse the heart of northern Germany. That's alright. Sounds alright anyway. Electric containers and embargoes are Electric containers? Ah, the BR-155. So, I don't like the way where you do this. It just all of a sudden, this is Barnstrecker, Bremen, Oldenburg. And then that's it. We go back to the performance. What happened to the video? Did they cut down on them now? Uh, <laughs> well, this could be the last one. Um, but yeah. Um, well, we're going to do the BR110 introduction because I need to know how to, dri how to drive it. So it would be um, at the training centre. Um, I've not really used this. PS4. Um, it is loading, by the way. I have pressed thingy already. Um, but because we're on the PS4, I just forgot how long it does take to do. So, um, yeah. They should hire the tutor. Yes, Bradley is out for hiring. Um, for uh, He can also talk a little bit German by the sounds of it <laughs> oh dear really in this training module we'll be learning how to drive this BR110 locomotive 
Oh, come on, seriously. You've shoved us on the bloody metro route. And you've not left any locos around here whatsoever. That's appalling. Really? Oh, what have we got there? Nothing. Ah. Follow the markers to board the locomotive. Upset I am. Sit in the driver's seat. I. Oh, we can't go in there. Uh, can we pull the windows down? Excellent. You know, first thing to do, it's a bit, bit smelly in here. Let's get the older. The hell's that? Looks like a bookshelf. <laughs> Probably is actually. Probably all the manuals. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. <laughs> Thanks, folks. This folk. locomotive requires the reverse handle to be inserted before operation. Yay! We love a good bit of inserting. Who uh? Start with the morning. Come on. To the neutral setting while we set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. God, this sounds like a 73. It has two types of brakes. You'll be using the driver's brake, which controls brakes on the entire formation. If you were running as a light locomotive, you would use the direct brake, which is quicker to apply, but only... They have the Lucas. The Open the passenger doors to allow board. Uh, that was like, that's my email. Thanks, Windows 11, for ruining that. That doesn't sound nice, it's looped. Close the doors before departure. The reverser controls the direction of travel. Release the brakes and depart the station. The large wheel in the centre of the desk is the tap changer, which controls power delivery in the locomotive. Set the tap changer to the power index you need, and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power. The currently selected tap is shown on the dashboard. Oh, doesn't work on the outside. It might be just for the um, the thingy. Might just be for the training module. Oh, I can't do it, can I? Um. Ah, oh, crap! What have I got to do? Oh man, I'll just uh, reset MCB, isn't it? Um, no, it's not it. I did, I, uh, um... There we go. That's one thing you have to remember.
Yeah, that would be helpful. It's say something like Tony, you dumbass, you've you've overclocked it. What? There you go. Scissor pantograph. Oops. Wow, those brakes are good. Does this mean I get to go back? Well, Tony's doing it all the right way. It's not worked. Okay, let's restart. No one said this was ever going to be easy. The Sam method of stopping. <laughs> yeah. So we're restarting. Wow, 40 se 44 frames a second. That's the highest we've been on PS4 for a while. So this is the PS4 Pro version and it's quite warm at the back as well. <laughs> ah dear. So it's all a good start then. <laughs> oh man. Hopefully tonight I will be live on the PS5 version but I need to know what the full size of the PS5 version is I don't want the PS5, PS4, Xbox I don't want the PS4 version it's, it's 2.4 gig at least I didn't Nebworth well no that's true yeah I've got all the USB ports in action because I'll be charging up my um, controller as well. Shall we just take time to have a look at the wagons? The, the, co the coaches. I mean, they do look awesome. It's just a door lock as well. And you can't use it. That's a bit stupid. Obviously, the quality of the graphics is a little bit off because, well, they've had to. Um... Is that handbrake? Does that work? No. You know, they, they've got to tone the graphics down, the quality. The resolution is the word that I'm looking for. Sit in the driver's seat. A lot of time would be spent in that, apparently. We're still going to open the windows though because it stinks in here. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Yay! Hopefully. This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before. Set the reverser to the neutral setting while we take over this cab. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. 
that uh, sounds so much like the 73. Yeah, Matt would be proud. If you were running as a light locomotive, you would use the direct brake, which is quicker to apply, but only perform braking on the locomotive. Open the passenger doors to allow board. Close the doors before departure. Mind the, the gap. Direction. Travel. Now we're ready to depart. Set. Release the brakes and depart. Pan cam. Where on the dashboard? Oh, there, look. I think we can go up to about twenty five on there Horns very what you call it if it works or not you know what I just want to I just want to try and unscrew these wing nuts. It's okay, it's my keyboard. For some strange reason, not working properly. That's a fire hazard, kind of out of the back. Right, let's see how we do on this stop then, shall we? <laughs> Here's open. So every time you get a new loco, new unit or whatever, new piece of rolling stock, you have to learn the braking out of it. You know how the, the braking characteristics, because they're all different than um, they're all different than any other thing. Roots in your basket, excellent. Uh, 
Okay, how far have I stopped away? If I must. I have to change that gradient setting as well. I hate it a percentage. <coughs> Yay! Nice job. The train has safely come to a stop. You can now use the door control to open the passenger door. I'm hanging my ass off the end of the platform though, Matt. Wrong way. Oh, that one. Nope, we still want that one. Close the doors before departure. Oh, look. Well, that's pretty cool. So the passengers won't be falling out if they're off the end of the platform. That's pretty cool. Proceed to the next stop, unguided, and see how you get off. Okay, 711 metres. Take the brakes off. This is old school. I'm just going to take a seat here. Yeah. <laughs> I think my pullaways are a bit cautious and slow. <laughs> oh no, Bradley, your internet's playing up. That's not good. It's going to start raining in a minute. I love it where you've got snow on the mountains now. <laughs> Good morning, Joseph. How are you, sir? Oh, no, don't stop. Don't stop now. Come on. Those brakes are vicious. <laughs> Hentis Rails Review, the 110. Those brakes are vicious. Uh, I'm not too bad. Still not feeling too good today, but yeah. I'm more tired than anything. Oh, and um, I have the doorbell up here as well. Um, because it's during the daytime we are expecting a parcel and everything I'm not doors um, that concludes all the basics of operating this train I don't know to be honest Tommy I'm not sure how fast it can go we may have to find out. Yay, bro presser. Ah, see what they did there. Brian Stucker. Yeah, see what they did there, eh? Bremer Moldenberg, bro professor. Yeah, you see that? Currently waiting for two parts. Well, I've got my mum's Christmas present anyway, so um, I think she'll enjoy it. She bloody better do it, cost me enough. <laughs> I've got a silver. Oh, come on, Matt. 
Ah, jeez. I have to have words with management. Right. Oh, we're going to do the end wagon. Ah, this is going to be interesting. And then I think it's the 425 and the um, thingy. 425, it's probably the same. Slightly different physics um, than the other one. But, um, yeah. Than the and the one five five the one one five five as well. Don't forget we've got the cell barge as well, so that'd be interesting. Goes up at twenty two the hour. Did, did they say? So I'll be live till about two o'clock, and then basically I'll be live from about seven thirty tonight. So um, yeah. BNRZDF. Why don't they just have like it's a Ren Wagon coach? Here we go. In this training module, you'll be learning how to operate the Karlsruher Kopf BNRD. Karlsruher Kopf. N Wagen. He did the old bit of Wagen there, didn't he? Eh? This formation is powered <laughs> by a BR 110 locomotive at the rear of the train, which has already been set up for. What a miracle. Yeah, there's only yet three. I've already got one. I've got the trophy. Um, so, can we go in through here? I'm not sure on those sounds. They sound a little bit... They they sound a little bit mono-ish. Yeah, they don't... That sounds good. So, of course, we'll have the window is open. That's the blind. Where's the window? Oh, wow. This is really like 50s, 60s sort of type, isn't it? I've got all these buttons. Can we push them? No. And the Ebola. Oh, wow. I don't know anything. Hey, look. Switch the headlights on. Sit in the seat. Does the seat move? Sit in. Um, we might be able to do that because we're in a. Oh no, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? Firstly, you'll need to insert the reverser handle. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Right, let's set the reverser then. Where are we? Um, insert it. While you set up the cab, set the reverser to the neutral position. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. Open the passenger doors to allow board. I take it we've got the... Oh, my bin's been emptied. I take it we have the lights. <gasps> I've forgotten we can do this. Where are we going? That's the wipers. More than them. We'll go to Bremen, shall we? Oh, wow. Okay. Where's Sifa? Set the drawers to close. The train is now ready to yeah, okay, Liam, no worries, mate. Thanks for popping in. Set really reverse, appreciated. Sir. Release the brakes. Brakes released. The throttle in this cab is a sprung ratcheted control, pushing the lever forward to the run up position will increase the selected tap in the locomotive and increase power. The hold position will maintain power at the current level. Pulling the lever towards you to the run down position will decrease the selected tap. Pulling the lever towards you to the off position runs down the tap to zero and will allow coasting. The throttle will be held in this position. Oh, I see. As you cannot see the selected tap in this cap, you'll need to keep a close eye on the ammeter to ensure that you do not overload the traction motors. Done that already. In this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. I see, so you keep your finger on the accelerator, you're accelerating the right bumper, 
or the R2 for PlayStation. Pull the throttle all the way towards you to run down the locomotive to zero taps. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Built between 1959 and 1980, there have been differing designs of this control. Going to have to put my drink somewhere where it's not stuck behind the PlayStation, getting warm. For a long time, the N wagons were the most common vehicle in N -Vagons. German rail transport. More recently, the R110 locomotives have been retrofitted with shuttle train controls, allowing for N-Wagen push-pull formations. Point. Control cars like this one allow a locomotive to be operated remotely from the other end of the formation, preventing the need for runarounds or additional locomotives. This is going to be interesting stopping. You're approaching the station. Begin applying a small amount of brake force using the driver's brake valve to bring the train to a gentle stop. Not that gentle, Mr. Hentis. <laughs> oh, please, come on. Get a couple of taps up. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to, this, um, this cab thingy. Oh wow. Nice I like the this work. The train has safely come to a stop. You can now use the door control to open the passenger doors. So on, get off. We've still got our ass hanging over the bloody platform. Um it's why and you, isn't it? Is it why? Yeah. Lock the Operate doors, doors and left proxy the next F. Stop unguided. Okay. Why hasn't Okay. Oh. Proceed to the next stop unguided and see how you get on. Let's go. Hi Jamie, how you doing? Good morning and welcome to the stream. Um Um yeah, just doing the training things and um yeah learning the uh the brakes and and that and yeah <laughs> not doing too well. Um, no, nah, we're all right. Um, oh, put me tap up a bit. It, as I was saying earlier on, it's just like with every new loco in, like, in, you know, unit or piece of rolling stock that you get, multiple unit or loco, it's the braking characteristics that you've got to learn because everything is so different. Yeah, definitely. 
but it's enjoyable actually i've got this on the ps4 pro so i've gone old school um obviously because of the dlc thing i can't get any more on the playstation i need to find out what the size of the playstation 5 version is because i'm hoping to try and take something off this afternoon and have it installed on the ps5 for tonight but um yeah it's all right actually i'm, I'm quite enjoying it <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the stuff like from the like from the late 70s into the early 80s that you see running to be honest and the horn is awesome so it looks all right oh i've got the doors open really oh no and it's quieter as well i need to start slow down No, because I've only... Well, it came up on the um, on the store. It was 6.8 gig. But when I went to download it, it was shown as 2.4. So I would have thinking that it could be 4.4 gig in size for the PS5. But I don't know. But I don't think Cathcart Circle is 4.4 gig. Ah, sod it, that'll do. We're on the platform. And the other good thing as well is that whatever coaches are off the platform, it won't open the doors, which good is work. pretty cool. That concludes all the basics of operating this track. I like that. Oh, we've got gold on that one. Fine. <laughs> Obviously, Matt liked me on that one. Yeah. Um, BR45 next. And then we're going to... I think that'll be the last one. We're, no, it'll be the BR155 after this. So, yeah, it's definitely... Um, I'm, I'm loving it at the moment. And it's really kind of just going to take time to get used to driving the uh, 110 and not just floor it. <laughs> not just not just sam it out of the um out the station <laughs> i don't think you could drive it like you stole it it's flat out from the station unfortunately bit of a bummer that lot would look good going around the verka dresden in this training module you'll be learning how to drive this vr425 No, you're alright, I'm just having a little around. Hi, only me, how you doing? Seems alright, seems legit. It's the hapstrack of Ryan Ruhr that these are on, isn't it? If I remember rightly. I think they shut on their own, don't they? Is it me, or is the sound a bit low? Activate the control desk. Insert the master key. Something I just wanna oh can't do it. The reversal. We're fine. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing... Yeah, rail joints are quite nice on it. I quite like that. Close the doors before departure. Drive a loop of the circuit to get used to the controls. Hold on, Matt. Where is the... It sounds really... No, I'm 100%. So it sounds really... Really... Oh, is it my headphones? It's my headphones. I've got a volume knob on the left headphone, and it keeps catching on, on my clothing, on my hoodie, so it turns itself down. 
Ah, oh, thank you, Jamie. 6.4 gig. Right. It might have to be Hapstrack and Munchen Augsburg then that comes off. Oh, oh for Bremen. Okay, cheers. Oh, 64 gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I just misread that. <laughs> cheers. Right. Set the reverser to forward. This multiple unit features a combined power brake handle called a master control. It's currently set in the brake range. Move the handle past the min power position and into the power range to get the Power ranges. Now you're moving, apply more power and focus on achieving the required speed. Oh wow! You said about the 70s yeah, DB Bomber Road was built in the 50s and 60s, so it was about in the steam era. Oh my! It has that era look to it, though, doesn't it? That's that's what I like to see. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see the 110 as well, 111 as well. It's the same like with the 1155 as well. I quite like the look of that. Even I mean, that's a little bit older. Well, that's not as old as the 110, but... Well, we're going to blow that one. Good work. The train has safely come to a stop. Now open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Done. I've got to push the button, haven't I? Ah, oh, that one. I can never do these on the tutorials. Proceed to the next stop, unguided, and see how you get off. Right. Why is? Say my doors are still open. Another shot, okay. Of course, the forty five is going to be sparking. I think it was the fact that I actually, as I was still moving, I went to open the doors. So when it slowed, it automatically opened the doors. Um, but yeah, it's the bit where you have to press the button to close the doors. That concludes this training module. But I know what you mean, yeah. Another gold. I'll have to do the BY one 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 oh job again at some point. Let's continue. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna in a minute we're gonna carry on with the one five five. 
and then what I'm going to do I'm going to come out I'm going to go to Colm and Arkin and I'm just going to have a little look to see what's stuck in um, uh, what's parked in Arkin and what's parked in Colm you have to do it has to be done but don't forget that 110 will be on some of the Dosto services if it's if it's available in that route it will it will layer in on some of the Dosto services so it will be random which is pretty cool we like random Ooh, PlayStation fans kicking off in this training module you'll be learning how to drive this BR155 locomotive that looks cool during this introduction, you'll be covering the critical driving Shiny. and freight operations. Do we get when any wagons? Ready, climb aboard and get started. That does look like that looks a lot better than the um Oh wow you got look, you got all the little contact details there as well. That's pretty cool. Disposition at press and zeal-something-barn.com oh wow so I wonder how many locomotives these have got and the, the wheels are like tyres are like white-ish sort of thing but the wheels they're, they're set slightly different they're, they're slightly offset the, these this pair here are offset to these two so it's slightly different along the distance away if you can see what I mean I know the first time I used the 155 last night on the Xbox One and it's the first time I've actually noticed that there is a slight difference between there the, the gap between the first set of axles and the other two so yeah what have we got in here anything or oh we've got some wagons ah oh, this will be the um I take it that'll be the new wagons right let's get in there then oh there mind the, wheel, mind the third row Oh, it looks brighter in here. Sit in the driver's seat. That's cool. Yeah, I think the thing is though, it'll be the same old. It'll be the same tutorial as like. To indicate that this train is operational. Um, it'll be the same sort of tutorial, but it'll be based on any new wagons that they've got in, and um, and that. So. Yeah, Unlock and the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. Yeah, hold on a second, Matt. You know, you haven't done the important bit. You haven't told us that we have to set these ones to the rear. You know, it's me being totally anal here. Because we're a light engine officially, you know. That's better. God, that looks so cool. I like that. Set the driver brake key to. Oh, sorry, I just like. I think it's it's probably because it's slightly different in colour. Not in colour, but it's different to the red, the, the red that we're used to. Um. Insert the reverser handle. Oh, we have to insert it this one. This time. The reverser determines the direction. Now we can release the brakes and get ready to move. Hold on one minute. Just chuck me your bowler off. Chuck it there. Not going to be long before we'll be doing these with our eyes closed. Yeah, I know. It's just the beginning, isn't it? The first part. Um set the driver's brake valve to running we're going to do it from outside the large wheel in the center of the desk is the tap changer which controls power delivery in the locomotive set the tap changer to the tap that you need and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power
Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Before we can start braking, the tap changer needs to be set back to zero. If you do not, braking will cause a traction lockout. The direct brake is used to apply the brakes only on your locomotive and is faster to apply and release than the driver's brake. If you're only running as a light locomotive, as you are now, it's quicker to use the direct brake. Well, that went tits up, didn't it? 4.3 gigabyte. Oh, cheers, Jamie. That's good. That's good. It'd still probably be um, um, Augsburg, Munch and Augsburg, I think, that's going to have to go. Luckily, I can see on the PS5 list what one I have to do. So Munch and Augsburg is probably the only one because I don't, I don't really play that a lot, to be honest. And because of the lack of the German roots on the thing, I've got the Verka Dresden and... Um, Castle uh, thingy. Then basically, I won't have a lot of routes, a uh, lot of locos to play with until we get a DLC thing. It's going to be next year now, to be honest. So that's the new wagons. They're a bit long, aren't they? The grain wagons, apparently. Are they grain wagons? Point three gig, right? Okay, that's hmm, be interesting. Come to a stop using the direct brake. Now, I'll do that in a minute. Oh, hello, brakes are good on this as well. The freight wagons are behind us. Change direction with the reverser, then change the junction indicated either by walking over to it or using the map. Um, I can't be bothered walking out, so... Come on. I'll do it that way. The junction is correctly aligned. You can now couple up to the freight. Approach slowly and stop just before the buffers. You've obviously not seen me drive then. I mean, it's good that we've got the training centre for to, to use everything with, which is pretty cool. So it kind of doesn't tie uh, the locos and that to one pack. Yeah. Well, I won't be doing any more. This will be the last one if I can put it on there, to be honest. So obviously if I can put it on there, I won't be doing the training sessions uh, in the stream tonight. I'll leave them for another time. Okay. This locomotive uses manual hook couplers which will need to be connected. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Let's it's like you... the formation using the external camera. It's like he can't see over the desk, it's like his little four year old.
Now couple the locomotive to the freight wagons. Really? Just in case we miss anything rushing past us on the main line over there. We're going to go this way. Get zapped on the third rail. Oh, I like the... Um... Return to the first person camp. I like the um, coupling sound. Nice work. Change direction with the reverser and move the train forward into the indicated siding. Come on. I mean, the thing is, is it's like we, we're going to be doing this for every single bit of like DLC that we get, I think. You know, with the new type wagons and the... Uh, the, the whatever loco it is so we just get used to it so we know how to do it I think um, what are these wagons like I mean that does look nice with a coat of paint looks a bit shiny could have fitted it with a better horn though. Nice pair of two tones would be all right, wouldn't it? That. Come to a stop using the driver's brake valve. Sounds all right. Wonder if they actually do a, uh, um, a trophy achievement for DLC P PS5 DLC TSW3 PS5 TSW3 DLC Tetris champion. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Uncouple the wagons from on foot this time. Yeah, because I want to have a look at these wagons. Stand up and head outside. Hold, hold on, Matt. Hold on to your horses. Blimey. Let's have a look. Can we climb up on them? Oh, yeah. Okay. What else can we do? Paid a lot. Oh, come on, really? Ah, how do I unlock the bay doors? Come on, I'll need the bomb bay doors. Oh, cool, <laughs> get a new view of the route when we uh, finish whatever it is we're doing. We just grab on the side of these ladders and we'll just go off. How's that? that? Oh dear. Can we unlock them? Oh, I want to unlock them. Can you play? Wow. Okay. Because we didn't really, to be honest, in the dovetail stream, we really didn't see a lot about these wagons. What did we have to unlock them this way around? Ah, look. Hatch closed. Look, you know, you're not going to do it. You're not going to find out these things if you don't mess about with them. Oh, wow. Oh, 
obviously this is the ps4 pro so the resolution is not that good it's playstation 4 standard basically that concludes this training module i quite like that we should get an achievement actually because we've done all the training modules maybe not That is so cool. I really enjoyed that. That's pretty cool. Um, delivered in 60 seconds. Right, okay. So return to training centre locomotive list. Yeah, I probably need to be over a tip grid, to be honest. Which, if there is any on there. Right, what I'm going to do while we're loading, I'm going to pop down, get a drink, and I'm going to have a and b And I think we're going to have a um, chocolate chip cookie as well. Oh, blimey. Me and my chocolate chip cookies. I will see you in a couple of seconds, guys. I hope you're enjoying it at the moment. So we're going to do a scenario next, and then we're going to do some services and uh, go from there. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, um, so this is everything that will appear on... Um, in the ps4 version that i've got but we won't get the static traffic which is a bit bit annoying but where's the 110 on here look at that klaus mayfa i can't really say that <laughs> right i'll s see you guys in a second
hope you're enjoying it so far. Right. Okay. So we're going to do a scenario. Um, where are we? Uh, delivered in 60 seconds, what do you reckon? That's driving the 155. So it's a fresh batch of cars has arrived from the harbour. Take them as far as Hood on their way to be painted. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll drive uh, the 110 from one end and then we'll do the cab car from the other. So, um, yeah, sorry, I've got my chocolate chip cooking. I'm going to have a munch of it now. Mmm, lovely. You've got to love Asda's white chocolate chip cookies. They are lovely. Very Moorish and bad for me. So it's 4.3 gig. That's not too bad. Hot off the press. Um. Okay, I'll have to have a look at that one later. Welcome to Bremen. A fresh shipment of cars has come in from the harbour, ready for transportation to the painting facility. Okay. All right, can't see what we're driving, so, um, yeah, oh well. We're hauling, sorry. I'm just going to take that out because that's a bit bright. Oh, come on. There we go. And the same with that one, number th number 12, I think it is. There we are. That's better. Right, uh, set the driver's, driver's brake to running. Headlights on. Um, boom, boom, boom. Headlight on. Yeah, that one's on. That one's done, and that one's done. Have we got train heating off? Cab lights on. Gauge lights on. on. Cab heating off. They're on. Uh, Pantograph. Everything else is right. Cab light brightness. Oh, very bright. PZB. 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 Bridging. Um, I don't think there is a one on here that I can do for the that's what I want headlight brightness um, see for control lights on make it a bit green and that one too yeah we'll have some of that um, and then I think it's that one isn't it there we go yep yeah, they work Come on. Oh, that one done. All right. Right, so we apply power to get moving. There you go. We look like a Christmas tree now. I don't know what it is we got. Blue screen returns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, haven't had that for a while, have we? Bremen Nude Star is where we're going. And what a way to see the route in the dark. 
Well, I can choose them. At least you can see the loco, kind of. I'm not hauling anything. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we like engine then. Use a direct brake. Like your little model railway. Oh, right. Just realised what I had to do. Um, settings, uh, hardened gameplay. Um, disable. No, that's off. Uh, stop marker. Oops, stop marker. Um, apply. And I think it's under general, isn't it? Um. No, where is it? It's the one that turns the um, uh, it'll be um, hard, won't it? It will be hard. Um, Measurement units, imperial distance, imperial mass, temperature, gradient, percentage, we'll have them on a ratio. So that's how I that's how I roll. Right, I think that's it. I think we're done. That's better. Five. Oh, we're in the dark again. Red light, one and a half kilometers. Oh, we'll be stopping at the platform anyway. is the lifting bridge no so we must have come from there then that's where we're going oh wow So where's the mark telling me where to stop then? Hi William mate, how you doing? Welcome to the stream sir. Right, so there's no mark. I don't just bother getting out. Yeah, 
There's no mark telling me where to stop. No marker. I've not switched that off, have I? I bet you I have. Objective marker. Why? I didn't do that. Donut. So I switch, <laughs> switch the objective marker off, you idiot I am. You're playing police simulator. It is fun, that. I quite enjoy it. Excuse me for my slight mistake that I did. Um, I was thinking about it, or I was going to do it. God, that orange is too strong. But looking at it, I probably won't. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I will, to be honest. Contact the signaler to proceed. Oh, use the old dog and bone. Oh, mate. Stopping location as indicated. 2.7 kilometers. So where is that? Oh, I see. So we're going there and we're going to couple to these wagons here cool but at least we can drive down here which is pretty cool so there could be nice little uh scenarios and that and then there's the uh other place with a little bit of track there <laughs> which they forgot to cover up that's pretty cool we'll have a look at the map later actually right so we can go forward that's it take the brakes off Well, hopefully we can get, I can get this this afternoon on the PlayStation 5. And we need to look at the PS5 version as well. We can compare them, so to speak. It may be that I'll have the training thingy on it done. <laughs> I'm not saying I will, but yeah. But it, the one that will come off will probably be Hapstracker Munchen Augsburg. Um... And if that's enough, I think we said it was 4.3 gig. So if I can clear 4.3 gig off, off that, then that would be cool. Um, yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm still feeling under the weather. Um, just, yeah, just not that good. I think it's just a case of my many airs and my diabetes just playing up a bit. So we're here till about 2 p.m., and then we're from on from 19.30 this afternoon, this evening. Uh, we've got a 40 limit, haven't we? So you can have a look at the old wagons coming in. Um, yeah, she's still in a lot of pain. She's still, she's still suffering. Um, not much really we can do about it. And, uh, yeah, it is a bit of a pain in the bum, but, yeah, it's not, you know, it's, she can't tolerate the, the after effects of the, um, the side effects of, of harder, harder painkillers, sorry, stronger painkillers, so, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a bummer, unfortunately. I'm not sure why, because I did see your message come up on, uh, it was on one of the YouTube, uh, one of the videos I think it was, or on the comment, 
Uh, oh, hello. Whoa. Is that something coming in? Let's have a look. So, bear in mind that I am on the PlayStation 4 Pro, so just because I have a huge frame rate drop doesn't mean it's a problem with the route. It could be that there's something that's been spawned in and it could be a PlayStation problem, not a, pit, not a, a route problem. So, yeah. But there again, it might not. It might be a root problem. I don't know. But I'm saying it might not be. Won't connect you to the chat. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I finished about midnight or just after, I think it was, this morning. But at least it's not raining. Touch wood. So the plan for the PS5 version, if I can get it on there, will be uh, we'll do probably do a scenario. Won't be this one. Um, <laughs> well, that has to be done at some point, and then we'll do some um, some. Um, we'll do. So I'm gonna actually when I if I do get the PS5 version on there or on the PS5, I'm gonna have a look at the training missions because it might be that with the PS4 they don't have extra stock running around. So it might be that the Gen 9 consoles will have extra stock, the stuff moving about. That's cool. Oh wow, look at this. Couple of formation sixteen vehicles. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure why. Right, we're going to do this. What are these wagons here? This are they all? Oh, we have got some. Look. How far do these go down? Oh, that's cool. There's a few wagons there. That'd be a nice long train. What are these? Oh, they're just uh, those. Right, that's cool. Right, so we're being a shunter. There we go. We are moving. I should have my light with the calling on light saying, come on, come on. I 
Obviously, if this was in the summer months, it'd be brilliant. <laughs> You know you just got to get out and go down and, like... Come on. There you are. Uh, remove the reverse handle. Set the headlights to red. Oh, okay. That was close. Set the brake valve to off. So that basically um, driver's brake key to off so it keeps the brake on right head to the other cab uh, turn the light out here I did really it's a bit bright yeah oh yeah because we're under the lights aren't we under the floodlights That's the contrast one, isn't it? There we go. Right. Set the raw thingy handle. Stick that on. Stick that on. Stick. Nope, not that one. Um. There we go them on um set the driver's driver's brake key to on and away we go i think we've got to take the brakes off yeah move the tap charger And we are hauling 
517 tonne. And where are we going? Two and a half kilometres just to there. I suspect we will then go off down into the yard here by the way, which is empty. Okay. Stop in location. What does it say after that? Uncouple. Oh wow, it's just an awful lot there still to do. So um, yeah, let's get some, oh, take that off. Let's get some speed up. So we'll do a one one zero service uh, first. I'm not sure which way they go. I've nearly drunk my drink already. Right, it's a bit quiet in here because the um, the windows are shut. Long line of traffic. So if you are enjoying it, drop us a like, drop us a sub, say hello. Can't see anything. Ha! Guess who left all the control lights on? Me! Right, let's wind it up a bit. I'll see you later, William. Take it easy, mate. So obviously the BR this one this press one five five will also uh, spawn in on other routes as well. So then we have to take him all the way down to here, I take it. Okay. Bradley plays with 101. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hopefully Bradley's enjoying it. Let's get a bit of speed up. When does this scenario set? 22nd of February, the 2nd of February 2009. Okay. So the route is based, whoa, a wee bit fast. The route is based in 2009 anyway. Which seems years ago now. I was 39 then. No, I was 49. No, I was 39. I can't count. It's too old. Over the bridge.
There's no rail joints, but you're getting. But it's good that you're getting rail joint sounds. That's what I like to hear. Right, so we're going into the yard now. Surely they would have shunted this lot at no, probably not actually. I was thinking they might would have they, they may as well have shunted this out onto the main line, but probably not. Hi Paul. Um my views it's not bad actually i've done this we've done the training all the training sessions um this is the ps4 pro version so the resolution gen gen 8 resolution is not going to be that good you know you, you're all looking for gen 9 stuff on the xbox and that but it is all right actually it there is the odd droppage in frames um we're running at about 29 frames at the moment average of 30 frames a second but yeah it seems all right it's only the first scenario that I'm doing, which is unfortunately it's at night or early morning. But um, yeah, it seems alright at the moment. Not much traffic around, mind. But I'm I'm hopeful that I'll be able to play it on the PS5 this afternoon. Well, this evening in the stream. Um, Right, uncouple 16 vehicles. We've got the brakes on anyway. Oh, you can climb under. Oh, we're going to have to do that next time. I'll leave the door open because we're going to be going out of it again. So yeah, I mean, it, it seems okay at the moment. Obviously, Gen 8 restrictions apply. Um, but if I can get it on the PS5 this afternoon, then I'll stream it on the PS5. But there won't be as many... Uh, uh, <sighs> excuse me. Oh, blimey. There won't be as many loco add-ons. So I'll get all the stuff what I've got with... Um castle Würzburg and Neverka Dresden and Ryan Ruhr Austin um, whatever I get with that you know what that's not a bad idea <laughs> to be honest it may it may come to that <coughs> well I did I did have two PS4 pros one that I used in the in the bedroom in um, add on there, and the other one that I streamed with. But it turned out that I was ending up streaming or using the one that I streamed, which is this one, which I've got now. The other one I sold when I got the PS5. Really, you're gonna do that, are you? Put the lights on. That won't go. But that won't show red, will it? If I remember rightly. No, that just shows that way. Right, okay, so... We'll take that off. Hmm. 
Oh, it's annoying that you actually... There you go. Couldn't find the door. Well, I've done that one, haven't I? That one. Early morning. Hi David, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, sir. Hope you're doing okay. Point, sorry, um, automatic, so yeah. <laughs> you got to get up, take a shower, brush your teeth, breakfast, and then go to school. What's school? I have no idea what school is. Six hundred and eighty meters. We got to stop. Seems all right. Um, on the PS4, I'm on the PS4 Pro at the moment. Um, I mean, I chose the first scenario to do, and unfortunately, <laughs> it's during the day. It's during the early morning in January, February even. So it's a bit dark. It's a bit weird why it's taking us all the way out there. That flashing one five five oh four five nine is doing my head in. Oh, apart from that, I'm tired as well. Really tired. Need to be on the reverse. So you see where I'm going. Can't see anything at the moment. Where are we? Thought they could probably could have done this with a um, 
Bit of shunter. Gradually swaying as I go over the points in the chair. Try again. Well, this is obviously going to take me a little bit more longer than 45 minutes, but hey-ho, I'm enjoying it. Oh, that's cool. It's going to be interesting to see. I like that. Make sure the brake pad is connected to the wheel when the brakes are applied. Over on that. Make sure brake check. Hold on. Set the driver's brake valve to nine. Set the direct brake to full service. Climb down, see if the brakes are applied. Oh, 
Well, I didn't check to see if the brakes were applied, but hey, you know. If the air, if, if the computer, ta if the scenario tells me to get in, then I get in. Driver's brakes are running. And then set the... I think that's unnecessary, but it's all part of what you would do anyway. Set the reverse of the forward. Need to shut the door because we're going to get ready to go. Set the direct brake to release. Apply power, get moving. Good eight chains so far. Oh, right, okay, yeah, Bradley's, um, Bradley's uh, scoring. Unique scoring, shall we say. 22 kilometre run, let's go. In the pale moonlight here, we'll... Whack the tap. Who <laughs> uh Could it reach nine or ten? It's interesting. You wagon sounds? Seems some sort of SUV and saloon cars by the looks of it. And they're mixed as well. Low lights on the rear, which is good. Oh, going way too fast. I think this is that is going to annoy a few people is that it's stuttering and it right down to four frames a second sort of thing but what can they do gen 8 people still want to use trains in world well they're going off you're taking them off to be painted apparently they're going to hood siding 11 to be painted right let's whack it off tap button that is let's go we are going full send 120 mile kilometers an hour oh is that 45 oh those red lights are um elective You can see a lot. So we're going to Hood. Oh, she's there. That's pretty cool. I suspect they'll go off down that way then. And that's down to Oldsburg. That's still a length of the route to go. Oh, could even have a sleep tonight. That's at this afternoon, I tell you. Mind the gap. 
said the phone. Where's my phone? Eddie Jones sacked. Why all of a sudden am I getting loads and loads of um, interest in my Instagram account from people? Interesting. I think we've got that very many wagons on us. And we're at 20 sight frames a second. It's a bit concerning for a PS4 Pro. Product 182. Nice. They have the Haji Tajis. Haji Taji wagons. Haji Taji. <laughs> the hat. Oh, the, the new wagons. Thirteen kilometers to go. Ooh. Is this our first? I oh, know it's another four two five. Oh, hello. Wee bit fast. Slow down a bit. Well, it'll slow down. So.
Rail joint sounds shouldn't be played. What sort of rail joints are they? Not the ones like what I've got here. Right. What is that? Is that playing with, or what? What is the loco? Is it the one one o? Um, one five five or the Dosto? The OAP Dosto. any freight freight run had it with the 155 and 101 on freight okay interesting Oh, that S boss on the bloody forums doing my head in. It's continuing to see rail rail as well. Hi, <laughs> Enemy Azuma. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's good. I'm playing on the PS4 Pro, so the frame rate is dipping into yellows. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's quite warm at the back of the piece PS4. It's keeping the PS5 nice and warm anyway. Uh, 7.2 kilometres to go. We'll have a run on a 110 next. Um, and then we'll do a cab car. I need to look on Cole Narkin as well. Or Dresden. Dresden would be a good one. And Dresden Chemnitz. We'll, we'll look at Dresden, Dresden Chemnitz, and Cole Narkin. Let's get a go. We've got 125 km an hour. We're not going to do that. Nice that the clocks are working as well. Coming up to 6 a.m. And we're 4.7 kilometres away from Hood or Yud siding number 11.
We've got a 60 kilometer an hour limit coming up, 2.7 kilometers, so we've got to start slowing down somewhat. That's quite cool. Look, someone's just going ding, ding on the bell. <laughs> Let's catch up with my train, shall we? Oops, a daisy. So we are running more or less in the yellow for um, for this route at the moment from frame rate. But it's expected. It's expected, to be honest, because they're not holding back Gen 9 because of Gen 8. Um, and sooner or later, Gen 8 will be discontinued, I suspect. But the fact that they need to get the PS5 DLC manager sorted they need to get that up and running and get that in because people will not transfer over with a ps5 if they can't even get all the content on there one and a half kilometers to go and then we're going to do a daytime service with the not the cab car we're going to do it with the um one one oh but we're going to look at these through three other three routes quickly first and if we don't do the cab car by two o'clock then we will do the cab car tonight we'll do a freight service tonight we'll do some i can't do the 101 service um i won't have those services appear because i don't have the 101 I think I don't think it will be T TSW four next year. I think it will be Train Sim World three, something or other. Trinker. Oh, what have we got? Let's have a look. It's another blue uh, press unit. There's something red behind. Oh, with more cars. So perhaps this is like a, a car factory up here somewhere. They're not cars, they're happens wagons. Or the ZDGs. ZDGs? The Tajis. No, they're cars. He's on the mix, he's got habins and cars on him. It's a nice little station at Hood. DTG Graffiti.
yeah, I think they will at some point. It's a bit of a headache. You know, a lot of people will not be happy about it, but at the end of the day, where you know, where do you carry on? I mean, the thing being is that, you know, since the Brighton Main Line, yeah, exactly, Bradley. Since when we've had Brighton Main Line, you had, you've had the, the what people are expecting every other route to be. To expect it to have like the Joe tables sort of thing, and they have proved popular. Let's be honest. And for Gen A, you know. When when Gen 8 people turn around and say, well, why have you not included it, blah, blah, blah. And then when they include it, you end up getting problems where you get stuttering. You get a lot more stuttering where the fr huge frame rate drops. Like, you know, you're in the yellow and everything. And to be honest, what do you want? Do you want a smooth free gaming? Or just do you want a, a horrible stuttering mess with loads of crap? Not loads of loads of services and you know what what would you want because you can't have both that is that is the thing it's going to be a tough call even on on xbox xbox and playstation it's going to be a tough call i think for when to do it are you actually not going to uh Oh, do I have to go back to zero? Right. There you go. So, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, they they they're gonna have to make that call, and people they're not gonna be popular. Well, when are they in ever, ever? To be honest, and they're gonna be called all the names under the sun. Well, if EA can support us in the Gen Eight generation, blah blah blah. But the games are tailored for that, and you you know. You, They've already proved in, in posts that they want Gen 9 compatibility with a Gen 8 console. You just, I'm sorry, you're just not going to get it. Not going to get it. Nice job. Another driver will continue the journey. Let's see how you did. Let's sit back in the cab. I do like the BR155. And the 143. Um, Gen 8 is struggling, so yeah, when it can render static stock, it will struggle with frame rates. They will have to give up. I mean, it's doing it now. They're not. There's a lot. A static stock is not happening. I mean, to be honest though, they could put static stock in scenarios because you're not doing a full 24-hour timetable. You're doing a segment. You're doing 45 minutes to an hour of a timetable, so to speak. And we got a gold for that, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at Colne Arkham first to see what's about there. Chop and change. No, we're not doing that. Main menu. So, yeah, they, they, they have to draw a line somewhere as to how much further they are going to go with Gen 8. Um, at some point, you've got to call time. Um, and it's not going to be popular. Um... But, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it, I'm afraid. Choose a route. Um... Hamburg, Lübeck, Colne Arken. There we go. Schnellfaschdrecker, Colne. Be that little bugger. No, it, it can't. Right, we're going to go into the new journey. So what have we got there? DPKS. The 110, look, is down the bottom. So it does, it is covered in there, look. Is it in the original release as well? Yeah, it's in the original release. BR204 is as well. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I just remembered. I've got to go somewhere else as well and test something. Right, so we're going to look on foot. I'm, I'm highly doubtful if it will, but yeah. Um, Duran, we want to go Eschweiler, Aachen. Aachen, Hatbaroff. 
we won't see the end wagons in there but we will see a 110 whether there's a 110 stabled I just want to see if it's stable at the end of Arkin or if it's in um, the depot at Thingy Bob <laughs> Thingy Bob George. I can't remember his name but on the PS4 version there's not a lot stabled at um, Colm because yeah it just causes problems I can't download the timetable it doesn't want to work on the PS5 so the PS4 as well it's on the PlayStation 5 it, the PS4 version doesn't want to work either because we have too much DLC I mean they got at some point Dovetail will have to have that conversation and it's not going to be nice You can tell now. I mean, the, the PlayStation—it's an eight. The PS5 is an eight. PS4 is an aging machine. That's it. Right, what have we got? Well, we have a Rail Pool 187 and a uh, Captrans something 185. There, cap, tra cap train, 185, nice. Um, okay. Oh, I'm not going to do, uh, Carl, what was the other one I wanted to look at? I think we need, we need to do this, Bradley. We need to look. We need to know. <laughs> and Bradley's going, what are you going on about? We need to know. Will it appear or won't it? <laughs> yes, we do. Bradley's going, what on earth are we doing? What's he going on about? Oh, well, that's a shame. Oh, that is a shame. It does not appear on main specet barn. Which means basically the BR110 will not appear in the power move. Ah, oh, so disappointed with that. I am so disappointed because I've, I've been looking forward to finding this out since last night. I was like, it's got to appear in the power move. Is the press one what, five five acceptable? I can't do anything at the moment. Yep. So that could appear. Well, let's let's have a look on foot. Um, Hagen hat bun off Hagen freight yard. Bill. So, oh nine fifty five. I think we've got a hot foot there. So the BR155, I don't know why the 112 won't, because they got Dosto services on the 112. Uh, not the, um, the 110, sorry. they got Dosto services. So why they don't? That's a bit bit interesting to see. Um, but yeah, we'll come back and then we'll do a 110 service. Um, we might not get to do a uh, cab car, but if... I can get the PS4 version, the PS5 running in today. We'll do a cab car tonight. We'll do a freight service, a scenario, and what have you. So, um, yeah. But we're on till 6. No, no, we're not. 
No, we're not. Definitely not. Um, <laughs> we're on till um, two or just after. So I, I need some lunch, and I forgot to get the bread out as well. God. That's it. That is it. Right. Um, which way are we going? Um, it's not here. It's that way, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Well, there's locos there, so let's have a look. I mean, we for all, for all we know. Oh, hello. There's uh, that is a Hent Israel one four three from Brad uh, from um, from Johan on the cement. And there is a DB the thingy. That's a one one two. Yeah, that brought the uh, thing down. That brought the convoy down last night. In theory. Right, I can't be asked going over there. Let's have a look. Climb up the steps. Right, so we have usual usual rubbish. 185. Two one four threes. No, a one four three and a one one two. And then three one eight fives. Ah, it's boring. Boring. Right, okay, let's get on to the um the uh what you call it one. Oh you can see they're having problems as soon as they put they, they as soon as you spawn in, it the the render this not finished rendering the sort the the, the, the the environment. So um yeah, you can tell they're having that they're struggling. Loving the 110. Yeah, we're going to have to get used to the 110. But it's good to see. I think it's on the Verka Dresden. So that'll be interesting. Doing some runs on that and then seeing that thing running along on the Dosto. Right then. So. Bonstecker Bremen Oldenburg. Well, I really haven't seen most of it yet. <laughs> so we get all this German stuff. So we'll have the BR-185. I won't have that. We'll have the BR-363. Won't have the BR-204. Nor the 612. Nor the BR-185 rail pool. We'll have the... Those... That one. We'll have the... I won't have the rapid tra the DB one or the MRCE one just to dispel look. Well, I might have the MRCE one. Can't recall. I think we do, don't we? I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look on the PS5 at some point. So we're going to do the one one A. And we are going to um, oh, forty five. manifest train so is that a freight is that a freight hell let's give it a go the route is tempting because it is different so there are the odd gradients on it it's not it's not overly f fat with gradients To be honest, I didn't know the 110 can do freight, so um, that's interesting. It's seen it, yeah, because it goes from the coastal town of Bremen. God, I sound like the bloody eh, um, brochure. Um, it goes from the coastal town of Bremen in in towards uh, towards Netherlands, basically. Thanks for telling me that. That little black box is telling is something telling me that one of my friends is online. Right, two seconds. I need to have a P and B. Let's 
still am drinking a lot today. Not alcohol, mind. I'm, I'm good. Oh. The thing is as well, I call this olden old burg. It's not it's Oldenburg, isn't it? Well, it's not as dull and grey out looking out today. It's a little bit more overcast, but it is there's broken sky, so it's a bit bluey and sunny. Right, get started. Oh wow, the Relions look. Oh hello. Don't worry, that is a um, thingy download. Um, Creators Club. So I've not seen that. That's that's the first time that's come up. We've had it in uh, thingy uh, Dresden before. That's okay. So if you see, if you get one of the, the Kajils, these are Kajils, if you get one of these, you also might find it's got Rally on on. If you do, that's Johan's versions. Right, let's... Um... Oh, look! It's over there. Didn't see that. So where are we then, basically, in the world? Oh, OK, so we're just outside Bremen. Nice. There's a couple of locos lying about. So they got a little bit lying. There's 612 there. Um, so we're here somewhere. Cool. So this is where all the AI sh uh, stuff comes in. <laughs> Not the cr AI shit. <laughs> what I was going to say. This is where all the AI stuff flies in and out. Um, oh, that's brilliant. And then we go off down that way. We're in the yard, just out, coming out of the yard, or just come in somewhere. I don't know. Um, right, let's... Um... <laughs> Let's set ourselves up. Stopping okay. We've got a 39 kilometer run. So that's pretty cool. How heavy are we? I didn't look. 963 ton. Okay. Right. I've got to remember how to do this now. Master instrument, use the lights. Where are the indicator test? I can press the. It will be. Yeah. Oh, okay. Use the headlights. What's this one? Desk light off. Put the reverser in. Shove her in first. Um, instrument brightness, doink. Not that that's going to do anything. Indicator brightness, doink. Put the LEDs up. Not that they're going to do much. Um, thank you very much. No, I don't want the door open, you donut. I just want the window. Uh, and I think we're ready to depart. So let's take the brakes off. Um, where's the brake key? There it is. Take the brakes off. Use the train brake.
nice little rhythm going there. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. But sorry. Well, we'll be able to get a good look at the map and uh, the route because we're doing 39 so where are we going from there so we're going into there as well so that's cool there's a few trains in there a couple of locos the shunters there get some speed up It wasn't me, I didn't do it. I like the uh, where the windscreen wipers are. You see the clean bit of window, which is just this bit where the windscreen wiper stretches to. And it's just like everything else, the window is just a bit dirty. <laughs> I get points for it. You see what I mean? That's the same noise that you're getting, isn't it? That'll be that'll that'll be addressed. Yeah, that is a bit annoying, that. I don't think that's rail joint. I think that's where it's like it's got a flat tire. Yeah, it's annoying. We got 38 kilometers of that.
Oh my god. We went down to three frames a second then. You're going to see a lot of uh, posts on the forum about the frame rate on the route. I don't think you're 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 hitting low extremities of the frame rate, are you? There's, I mean, I'm, to, I'm regarding this as to Gen 8 users. I don't, I don't think you're going to see a lot from Gen 9. You'll probably see the forum, the PC princesses, uh, complaining. Because their dog's dangly setup can't handle it. It's like, well, you know, pull your frame rate down a bit, mate. Pull your resolution down a bit. Is the frame rate is suffering a bit at the moment? It's going to, unfortunately. Hold on a minute. Why have we got red bar black barriers? It's like someone's setting off popcorn. Should they be black or should they be red? Um, she's called me as well. Two seconds.
yeah she needed help on on doing a jar that is quite annoying that sound and um red red and white um I better catch up with my train. It's like either popcorn or fireworks going off at a fast rate of knots. It might be because it's just not rendering right on the PS4, so yeah. Well, they didn't have this in the um, on the PC version, did they? Yeah, this was definitely not in the PC version. a 612 look oh cool that sounds awful Bradley, in the um, back cave, can you link the forum post, please? That sounds absolutely awful. Hopefully his famous brakes and slow it down somewhat.
That's good then. So I just had two more cookies. That's it. Hi, right, Johan. How you doing, mate? Expecting coming some something coming whizzing up behind us then. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Why are you a little annoyed? There is a, a slight annoyance. Is that I mean it's. It's the rail join sounds, which sound awful on here. And it's your continuous road of rail, and it just, yeah, like what Bradley said, it's awful. Um, yeah. What is it, the rail join sounds? Is it something to do with the actual loco itself? Right, we've got all green. Why do we have to wait? I just wonder if there's something in front of us. Just some things. Okay, no worries. Well, we know that custom liveries sub in. We haven't had your Kajil's wagon yet, but they are here, look. As well as... Wait for it. Yeah. The problem is, I don't think you're going to get rid of the. Um, you're not going to get rid of the, um, the, um, the stutters. You just won't. Well, hopefully after I've had something to eat, um, I can have a quick look at, um, uh, have I just, have I just gone over the top? Yeah, I have. I've gone over the top, so we've got to close the MCB. <coughs> oh, there we go. Dos uh, car. I think it was Moggy in the chat turned around and said, and I, in in some respect, I do agree with him. These look a little bit like the BR, the Class 71 Locos, to a degree. There is some resemblance there. That's that noise. I don't think that's rail joins. I think that's something inside the Loco that's doing that. That's something in the loco that should not be going on. Right. Sparks. We 
got to stay. Ah, that's what we waited on. Look. Wonder what that was then. Yes. Oh, coming up to a bit of fog. Definitely think it's worth it. I th I don't think that's rail joins, Bradley. That's um. That's something else. Because the other thing is, well, we've got two and a half kilometres. If you go to... Where are we? If you go to here... I can't sit on that one. If you go to this side... Oh, a loaded look. Oh, wow. Okay. And close that. Hi, Richard. Yeah, I'm not too bad, you. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, weathered habins, dirty habins. Yeah, the sounds, I don't know, it, it could be rail sounds. I, I don't know, Bradley, it's, uh, it's a bit weird. I don't know what the hell that is. What the hell was that? Tay Charger. What? Did you get what that was? That could, it could be rail sounds, but when you hear it from the outside, you've got rail sounds going on, and you've got something else going on as well. So you got you got rail sounds there, right? So those barriers are not. Yeah, they're not rendering properly. Okay. And then you've got that. So you've got two different sounds that shouldn't not be playing like they are. Oh, dear God. Oh, that's awful. It's like the, the loco's got... So this is the other thing as well, is that these, they're not... They're not coupled properly either. When we get another, when we come up to another red, so here we go with another lot of um, what you call it um, level crossings. A lot of level crossings on this route. Well, that's what I thought. Let me grab some shots for him. Oh no, that's all right. So they, I think they've rendered now. Yeah. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. 
six four three five. So yeah, this is this is rail joints, rail sounds. That's wrong. And you got the clicking. That I don't think that should be. That's not right either. Right, the service I do, the first scenario I do, what happens? It's dark. The first service I do, it's foggy. So this is the loco clicking. Which that could be rail sounds. You're right, uh, Joe. How you doing, mate? How's it going? Yeah, that's that's not right. Yeah, I'm not too bad. A little bit under the weather, but oh, tired mainly. What did you stream on this morning? Did you stream on the PC? He streamed on the PS5. Oh, cool. Um, what was... Did you get this sound? The rail join sound for starters. Because that just doesn't sound right. That's too... That's too quick. And then there's this... The clicking... No, you didn't. Right, okay. wonder if it's... Well, I'm gonna. Come, I'm. I'm kind of hoping that I can squeeze. He's playing. Trains in World Three Tetris again. Um, oh, it's a BL 101 look. And I missed it. Totally. Why is it doing this? Three. Oh, let's go in. Um. Hopefully, going to try and squeeze the PS3, the the PS, squeeze it on the PS5. But there'll be a lot of stuff that I won't have. The 612, obviously, because of DLC issues and that. But um, yeah, I'm going to see if this. But Bradley's got this this noise on the Xbox X, I think it is. So um, he's logged it on the forum. But um, yeah, what do you think of it? This is the PS4 Pro I'm on at the moment. Hi, Mark. Yeah, that's cool. That's 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 fine. That's fine. Um, <sighs> what do I like about the route? Um, I haven't seen much of it yet. <laughs> Wouldn't say it's anything exciting, exciting, but it does give you a new, unique experience. Yeah, I mean, obviously the ca the, ca the cab car. Um, yes, yeah, Sam. When I when I've done this run, I'll show you what German routes it it comes up on. Doesn't do main. Uh, doesn't do Rust ignored. Um. Castle Würzburg. Does it do Castle Würzburg? I don't know. Can't remember. Um, I think it does Dresden. Yeah, the end wagons don't. No, it doesn't sub in on all the German routes either. But I will. I will show you. It's a bit annoying that we got fog because you can't see much of the route, which is really annoying. Um, but hopefully if I can get this on the PS5 tonight 
I will stream on the PS5, but I won't obviously have a lot of the stuff like the uh, the 187, the MRCE 182 from Ham Lubeck, um, the 612. So there'll be a few few bits missing, but I'll just be glad I've got it on the PS5. Uh, but it will probably be the last route that I can get on there. I'll be taking off uh, if I can It could possibly be Hamburg München Aus Augsburg and I don't want to Cathcart Circle I've got a, I've got a clear 4.3 gig So if I clear more than 4.3 gig and I don't think I've got it on the PlayStation 5 I've got to check I might put the BR187 on. <sighs> Heavens above. I don't think... I think I took it off. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's definitely wrong. The wagon sounds there. Oh, right. But it's those running... The... It's like someone's setting off popcorn. That's no, that's 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 wrong. Death. Whoa, the chair's just gone back. <laughs> I think you fell out of the chair. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna do that on stream one day. That that just lets this down. That really does. Oh man. Because that definitely wasn't with on the training module with the end wagons with the coaches. It could be the wagons. And it also wasn't with the Kajils with the wagons that I did. No, that was the 155, sorry. Munchen Augsburg, Rheinruhr, Main Specet Barn, NRD, uh, Rheinruhr Austin and Cole. NRD, what's NRD? Oh, the Verka Dresden. Oh, it's a P Super out here today. Don't tip on, don't sub in on Dresden candidates. Interesting. Oh, that's the other place we have to look in. Cheers for that, Joe. Got to look at uh, Dresden Riser as well. I mean, the thing is, though, you can always bring the end wagons in on Scenario Planner. No Dresden candidates. Not even Rurs ignored, so we can't even do it with the power move. How bad is that? I was so excited yesterday, I was thinking, know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look on the old Burst Ignored and just see if I can stick it on the power move. And I was like, when I couldn't do it, I was like, no! Damn. But, you know, there's a fair amount of routes that it does sub in on. The other thing is, as well, you get the G6 and the BR204, as well as the BR363. So we'll have the G6 appear on here on the PS5 if I can do it. What if it'll appear on here in Dostos as well? Oh dear. The PS4 is definitely getting a workout today. Definitely getting a workout. Hopefully, the other wagons will stop those um, Taji wagon Taji Tajums or Tagums or whatever they are. You hear it go? Oh, yeah, there it is. There. Nope. <laughs> it's going to go nope in a minute and crash. Nah, it'd be all right. I think.
Well, that, also before I go, we'll have a look see what other locos, what they'll spawn in on doing and that. So, so yeah. Can you do? Can I do you a favour? Can you let me know what you need to get all trains? Um, well, PS4 obviously Pro because it won't work with the PS5 unless you just install all German routes in there. But yeah, um, basically I'll, I'll show you when, when, when we've done this. We've got eight, son of nine kilometres to go. So we go again, look. So the gates haven't rendered. So I'll also, Bradley, if I can, I'll log that into your thingy. What? Oh, crap. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so, right. Um, okay. <sighs> I, I did go through a red signal. It was red. I wasn't looking at it. <laughs> ah, dear. It's bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Right, so we'll look at... We'll look at what Loco does what in here. What spawns in? Yeah, F in the chat, guys. F in the chat. Ah, oh, I was doing so well. That's well. Right. So what's that? Oldenburg hat ban off the Oldenburg hat ban off sidings. What's that? Drive this empty train from Oldenburg hat ban off to Bremen. Hat ban off sidings for stabling. Interesting. Is that empty train as in ECS? Interesting. Oh, wow. There's a few of those. So, your earliest with the 110 you start is 0434. And the latest one. A320, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the old PS4, mate. It's just... Yeah, she's done me well. She's 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 the old streaming one that I had. The other one I sold. So this one, she's, she's done me well. And considering that I hadn't touched her for a year, she'd been stashed away under the bed in a box. So, um, yeah. So the latest one is 34 minutes past midnight. So you go... You do quite well on Loco Run Round at Oldenburg. Oh, cool. Two old boat old book hat banner signings. So you got so you got a nice nice range of stuff there. That's the one one oh. So you've also got freight freight trains as well. Well which we just done. Um So basically you have the BR one one oh the one two five the four two five and the four two five does um basically uh norden was it nordenham nordenham uh to bremen um services so it doesn't go all the way it just goes up to i think it just literally goes up to hood and then it turns off um but you got obviously like side running from sidings into into the stations and everything so that's pretty cool um, and that, what time does that come from? That starts around about the earliest is 4:54, which is an ECS into Bremen. So it's 4:54 is the earliest. The latest is midnight six, which is um, an empty. From so you're running ECS from Hood to Bremen siding. So that's that again. That's another one. That's a 23 minute run. So we can do a 4:25 run tonight as well, hopefully. 
the BR101, I've got to wait because it takes a little while to do everything. So the 110, you have 330 services. The 45, you have 39. The BR101, you have 11, sir? No, that's wrong. Don't worry about that. That's good. That's all wrong. Um... Oh, so there are there are a few that I have. So they may they might turn up. Yeah. Um, so the BR one hundred and one. Wow, you can do Oldenburg to Leipzig. There's a fair amount at five thirty three. Mash and Rat Banner, whatever that is end off. That's a freight. Because obviously the one hundred and one does every now and then it will run on some freight so that's one of the freights that's an ECS from Bremen to Oldenburg oh that's cool cop bus so the 101 does an awful lot of stuff Leipzig Oldenburg hat ban off Hanover. So I think you're running that the whole route, aren't you? You're running it from Bremen to Oldenburg, yeah. So you got a couple of um, what you call it ones there, and then there's uh, one more. You say, yeah, you got quite a few on that one for the 101. So that's pretty cool. Um, well, the 155, we know that's going to be freight. It doesn't matter which one you got. So there's a lot of services from 3.56 in the morning. Loaded car train from Oldenburg to Bremen. Intermodal train from Bremen to Hatbanoff to Bremen. Bremen Hatbanoff to Bremen Groland, which I think is the docks. So that's pretty cool. On to rest at break. Train from Hude. Another loaded car train. Light engine from Hude to Bremen. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Bremen to Groland. On 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 us on Osbrook. Diverted manifest train from Bremen to Hatbanoff to Oldenburg. Oh that's interesting. So there's there's some nice what you call it, Falkenberg unter BF to Ender I think they're yards. BF, RBF, BF and RBF. Loco change. Stable the loco. So yeah, some nice little ones in there to do, which is pretty cool. So you'd be able to do them with order um, 155. So you got, what's that one? Drive this manifest train from Hude to that one. That's part one. And then you got... That's a 23 minute job. And then you got a uh, from Down Moss DF to Bremen. Oh, that's cool. So you're doing it part two parters. That's, that's 30 odd minute run. So that's pretty cool. Got another one there as well. So yeah, there's some nice, um, there's some nice runs. Definitely nice runs. Perna GBF. Grain train. So these are, ah, oh, cool. Gag. <laughs> Sorry. And these run wow, when did these run from then? That's a fair amount of freight. So from what? 3.56 in the morning is your first one. The 3.02. So that's nearly a 24 hour timetable. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Dresden Free Crest. Drive this intermodal car parts train. From Bremen, hat ban off to Bremen Groland. How can that be a 33 minute train? Dresden, Friedrichstadt to Emden. That'll probably be a BL on it. Well, you can do anything on that. Drive this into modal car. Wow. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff for the BR155. And I suspect the BR182 will be the same sort of thing 
so where it says 18 services completed out of 407 that's the whole amount of services what it can do which is a little bit misleading for what you can do on this one so yeah it doesn't matter which one we do um so i think most of these will be the same it'll be all the freight locos so they'll all sub in on the freight which is pretty cool so then it's literally all the same so that, i think that'll be the same for the rail pool 185 um yeah it's all the same isn't it so you've got let's just say for the sake of it the 187 the 185 the mr the br 185 the 155 the 182 um and i'd say the br 185 down there at the bottom oh my god how many have we got Crikey. Um, I'd say you got the same with them, 356. Yes, definitely nice to see the shunters. Although I don't have... I think it's the red 363. That's the main... No, it's not the main specified. The Russ ignored one. Which I don't have on the PS5, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, you got a lot of loco interchangeability on there so the br204 in theory will sub in with um where are we so you got four bremen goldenberg that's a 19 minute run intermodal train from bremen to groland oh wow 2038 manifest train from moldenberg so i wonder if these are ones actually that um, are from the the normal freight sort of thing because this top one is a th this one here look Oldenburg to Bremen Grollen part one that's an hour and seven minutes so in total it's um, 29 that's over an hour and a half long those three bits there hour and a half Got the red 363. Yep. Uh, the red 363 will spawn in because if I go to there, you can have the Thoranta Ramp, Dresden Chemnitz, Neverka Dresden, or Rurs Ignored 363. So, in theory, with the BR 363, the Rurs Ignored one, my Hentis Rail livery, the very early one, will turn up, which we're not going to discuss. <laughs> so, they should do the same. They do a little bit more because they do the. Don't they do the museum run, the 363s? Oh, wow. There's so much to do. Wow. There is a lot to do. Um... Oh no, don't do that. That should all be the same, shouldn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, and the G6 will probably do... Um, come on, in your own time. That'll do the same. So the 204 does slightly different to what the thingy does. The other ones do, which is pretty cool. Um... I think we all know what the cab card does. <laughs> really? 0407 from Oldenburg to Bremen. We've got Oldenburg to Hanover. Emden to Hanover there, look. It would be nice to do, if there is one, where it was a Bremen to... Um, Bremen to Oldenburg and you were using the cab car, driving the cab car first. Museum runs are basically, I think it's two cab cars. Um, back to back. So you've got the cabs either end. And it just runs it to the museum. Well, I, I have no idea where that is. So that would be something I need to look at at some point. Um, 
and the 612 on oh no, a we did say the g6 was we did say what that was didn't we yeah don't think it's no drive these light engines so we got a power move come on we got to have a look at that i need to look at the power move sorry if it's got light engines it's a power move <laughs> We need more power moves. We need them in Great Western, um, not Great in in the UK on some of those R ones. Get a couple of six X, six nines running, or six X, six six. Can't remember what the one was from uh, Cardiff is. Comes down to Westbury and Eastley. Sometimes it can have up to ten sixty sixes or ten locos in a run. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I will be back on tonight from 1930. What console it will be on, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have a look at the 612 in a minute. I just want to see what this this uh, run these set of light locos are on. What are they? What are they? Come on, PS4, hurry up. It's getting old in the tooth. Don't forget your hard helmet. You said helmet. Let's have a look. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I've reason why I'm getting all reward earned because I've had to do a complete vanilla install of Train Sim World 3 on here to download to use only UK and German content. I can't download any American content because if I do over 50, I've got 46 items of DLC on installed, and it's all German, all UK. So, um, yeah. That's cool. Denied no route available. Brilliant. That'll be something to look at later. So I suppose you can do that with the 363 together and the G6 and 363. Yeah, wow. I quite like it, to be honest, but... You know, each to their own at the end of the day. Um, and then we'll have a look to see what 612 does. It will probably do a handful of servers, I suppose. Obviously, the 612 is a replacement for something that does run on the route, which they don't have. Which I think is, is kind of good, but you know the, you know the princesses will start moaning saying, well, why, don't we, why didn't you make that instead of wasting time on doing the 425 but there again if they found out people would be saying 425 is not in there but it does run on the route but you've got the dmu that doesn't really go all the route you know and where did they go you know you can't unfortunately you can't please everyone so oh this is so slow uh, it's that one isn't it uh tim table so i have done those services at the moment <clears throat> I think it could be the 428. I'm not 100% sure, Carl, to be honest. 612, let's have a look. Did I just see Wil Wilhelm's, Wilhelm's Haven? Or Wilhelm Shaven, even. <laughs> Stop it. So we've got Brennan to Honorsbrook and Honorsbrook to Bremen. <laughs> Wilhelm Shaven. <laughs> I'm not gonna give that one up. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> oh dear, I need something to eat. So what times did we start? We start six twenty six, five twenty four, six thirteen, six twenty four, five fifty two, seven thirteen, twenty four thirteen. So literally every hour after that, seven thirteen, seven twenty four return. So yeah, that's not too bad. All the way through to what time? 2316 so it's a nice nice set of runs for everything so they, you know they obviously i don't know how they managed to sort the timetables out how they managed to get all the details and that for them but but yeah it's um it's pretty cool um i think that's everything covered on that one isn't it um yeah because basically the one the i'm not so sure the 101 will do its own ser ic services as well as the odd freight the 155, the 182, the 185, 
rail pool, the 1855 and the 187 will all do the same freight as every all, as each other. 185 as well down there. So, so you'll have a lot to spawn in. Joe finds a way. Yeah, he does. He does. The only thing that's really disappointing, there's no BR143 on here. I don't care about the 112, not bothers. But it's the 143, because that is one of the ones that I had a lot of my reskins on, which is annoying, but, you know, it's just as it is. Right, let's shove over to Dresden, um, Rise of Dresden. Um, and this will be the last one. I just want to have a look. Come on. So they got the 110 there at the bottom. PlayStation starting to um, crank up now with the old fan. Um, there it is. Let's have a look at the BR110. Empty, no, we're not going to do empty stock to my zone. Just want to have a look to see it coupled. So it's only, it's only a few. Oh, it does it on the the Myven thingy, Leipzig, Dresden. Let's have a look at that one. I'm not going to sort the timing out at some point. Does it? Do they spawn? Does it spawn in on the well, um, Hamburg Lübeck? No, probably not. But you, you've got to think now that they've now released two more routes. They're already working or starting work on two more routes or two more items of DLC. Whether it will be Loco or... I suspect, no, the lo the route teams are different, aren't they? Because the, the Locos are, and the rolling stock are built separate to the route teams. So the route teams and everyone else will be starting. There'll be two more routes being, being worked on at the moment. So it's crazy, really, to think about that. They're working on the next lot of routes already. HDX is Holiday Express, and it's something that they released on Train Sim Classic a few years ago. It's like you're going around a house in a, like one of the, in a, like a, um, a a train set sort of thing, you know, a, a model railway, and you go through like little mouse holes with the with your a steam loco which was supplied which was i can't remember what it was it was an american steam loco and i think it was the f7 as well with all the flat cars like you know then what route is it on um i think it's it's a flat cars with like the the ends on the back sort of thing um and they got like toy bricks on them like alphabet bricks that sort of thing and toy soldiers and yeah it's i don't know it's a bit I'm not overly sure to be honest. Right, got to look at this. Well, have I opened the left? Well, the left doors are supposed to be unlocked. I'm not switched it on. That's why. Um. I suspect if we do play Dresden Riser, you will be seeing this a fair bit. So, um, yeah. Let's, let's open the doors. The doors should work, because um, Mike, he did say that they it's they didn't work at first, but they did. There you go. pretty cool I'm I'm <laughs> I'm actually surprised that the PlayStation hasn't gone that's it I've had enough I'll see you later because we've got Dresden on but yeah that seems okay so we're loading passengers uh, we haven't what I have noticed 
is usually we have a load of wagons up here down to 10 frames a second oh we do okay oh hello Johan's loco gets everywhere so um, well, that's pretty cool excellent right on that note oh no I'm gonna just scream back over here a second oh six twenty one yeah that just does seem really really weird with having a um D dosto with a one one oh on the front of it the 187, I I have to say, I really do like the 187. The sounds are, although they've redone them, they they got to redo them again. But the 187 is a great, a great loco. Um, I love the Railpool version as well. But unfortunately, we won't be seeing it on the PS5 for me because obviously the DLC limit. So which is really annoying. But yeah, I've got to say the 187 is pretty cool. I want to shut the doors a minute. Let's see if I can get this right and not overblow it, as they say. Brake keys on. Dynos off. Drivers off. And. No, take that off your donut. Um, right. Put the lights on. Yeah, no, we don't want them reduced. We'll have them normal. She should be getting ready to move in a minute, I think. It's quite a nice little sound to that. There she goes. See, it's that noise. That shouldn't be. That shouldn't be going. That should stop after a while. I know what I've done. Go away with your dynamic brakes. Okay, what? Well. Move that out of the way, sod it. Nope, because it won't let me do it. Should have traction locked. Take dinos off. Why wouldn't it let me do it? Oh, sod you. Do it this do it this way then. Nope. Ah, sod it. I'll have to have a look at that later. But yeah, guys, that... Oh, we've got an ICE coming in, look. The epitome of modern and not so modern. Um, I will see you guys tonight. I don't know what machine. We'll, we'll have a look. It more more or less will be the, B, uh, the, PR, the BRPS5. Um, and it will be minus either one route or two routes. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I will see you later. I think, Bradley, you will be in later on tonight. Not at 7.30, but later. I think. Um, but, yeah. Thank you all very much. Remember, if you if you are enjoying it, just hit the like button. I'll be back at 19.30 tonight on some machine I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be letting you know before. But if not, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> Um, that's it guys thank you all very much I've got to try and remember how to end it on the PS4 because I can't remember so um, our oh, broadcast settings there we go right it'll go blue and um, I will see you guys later <laughs> take it easy and uh, bye bye